Herzlich willkommen bei Ungeschnitten und ja, ich habe es euch versprochen, jetzt ist es soweit. Ich sitze wirklich vor dem Mann, dem Helden meiner Jugend und ich kann es selber noch gar nicht so richtig fassen. Ähm, ich bin ein bisschen stolz, ein bisschen nervös. Wir haben es auch ähm, ja mittlerweile schon kurz vor 11 Uhr am Abend, also wenn mein Englisch vielleicht ein paar Aussätze hat oder <lacht> ich etwas müde wirke, nimmt es mir nicht krumm. Ich hoffe, wir haben einen richtig coolen Talk jetzt äh, mit dem Mann, den wir uns natürlich alle gewünscht haben, dass er hier zu uns auf den Kanal kommt. Jetzt ist es soweit und ja, ich werde jetzt natürlich mit ihm auf Englisch sprechen. Ich werde aber natürlich auch Untertitel dann in das Video reinbasteln, damit auch die Leute, die vielleicht dem Englischen nicht so mächtig sind, dem Ganzen entspannt und gut folgen können. Und ja, legen wir am besten los. So, now switch to English. And here he is, my hero of my childhood, <lacht> Kurt McKinney. Thank you very much that you're here. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that's, to be here. It's great. That's that's nice. Um, before before we start with the yeah normal professional interview, I would like to uh, switch into the fanboy mode and uh, would like to tell you just a quick story of me and my mother, because um, back in the days um, when I was around seven or eight years old, my parents often went to the video store and rent some video cassettes uh, of the new movies and so on. And my father uh, loved horror uh, movies. And um, he was not really strict in that. So he allowed me to watch this um, like Nightmare on Elm Street and so on. And um, yeah, I had often um, some nightmares <laughs> and my mother was, was a bit angry uh, with him. Uh, but the weird point is that my mother loved martial arts movies. So he loved, for example, the um, Jean-Claude Van Damme movies, Cynthia Rothrock stuff, and so on. And she allowed me to watch all these kind of movies. And so I grew up um, always with um, the love um, for uh, yeah, these kind of movies. And now, almost 30 years later, I told her that I will have an interview with you. And the first reaction was, no, you're, you're lying. I, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, so, and and um, yeah, I said, yeah, it's true. It's true. I will talk with Kurt McKinney. And then she was so happy. And there was this um, kind of connection uh, between us, like back in the days we had, uh, yeah. yeah, with those movies. And we talked, I don't know, around about an hour about No Retreat, No Surrender, Kickboxer, Bloodsport, I don't know, all these kind of movies. And yeah, it was so nice um, to have these uh, moments with her again. And yeah, you, you and, bonded with your mom over, yeah. over martial arts movies. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably it's, like, it's like comfort food for you now. Yeah, because yeah, it sure, reminds sure. you of being a little boy and, and hanging out with your mom and watching these movies i yeah i totally i totally get I totally get that what 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 did your mom like about martial arts movies what was it that she she liked you think was she was she a martial artist or she just like no 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 <laughs> um i think she loved the aesthetic of of these uh, fights so the movies back in the days had often these slow motion uh, scenes and it yeah it was good to see it was 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 uh, Aesthetic uh, uh, optic, so yeah, yeah. She, she she liked that. That almost like a ballet, right? Yeah, yeah, the little, choreographic and so on. Um, yeah, she she yeah. liked it. Yeah, and um, what I really want to say uh, with that kind of story is that I think there are hundreds or thousands or I don't know millions of stories like that out there, and I can see it um, in our commentaries under our videos, because I, I made a lot of videos about martial arts stuff and so on. And of course, also about uh, your uh, movie, you No know, Retreat, No Surrender. And there often is Karate a- Tiger. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Karate, Karate Tiger, yeah. And uh, often I can, I can see, um, yeah, the stories of the people uh, that you inspired them to make martial arts. And maybe you gave them some kind of strength when they had a hard time or something like that. and Yeah, um, it's that, that never gets old to hear that, by the way, Robert, you know, I, you, you hear that from people. And, you know, when you're a young kid like I was doing a movie like that, you you don't think that, you know, 
30 some odd years later, you're going to be talking to people that, that say, wow, I, that movie gave me uh, inspiration or, you know, brought, you know, picked me up when I was feeling down. And that's, that's to be a part of something like that is, is pretty special. It's uh, nice that to say that because, of course, I can imagine that you heard that hundreds of times <laughs> from other people. Um, I saw a lot of interviews with you. You also had an interview with uh, uh, Scott Atkins, um, also with yeah. another German channel, I think, last year. And, um, yeah, there are often also uh, the same questions like, um, where have you been all these years? Why have you <laughs> done another movie or something like that? And um, yeah, I tried. <laughs> I tried to um, um, yeah figure out some questions um, you not answered a uh, hundred times. And I sure. also I also made a, a video uh, last Saturday, and there I wanted to um, yeah answer all these questions by myself because I heard the stories um, yeah already from you in the other interviews, sure. and so maybe we can talk about some other stuff which we not hurt <laughs> that Absolutely. often. Absolutely, yeah. And um, yeah, now we talked um, about these role model stuff and inspirational thing. Um, what was your inspiration or maybe who was your role model back then to start martial arts or start starting with the acting? Yeah, I think um, I grew up, uh, um, well, I would watch TV with my mom growing up as a young boy because my father would work late sometimes. And, and so we would we would sit up and watch shows like I Love Lucy. And I don't know if you know that show. It's way before your time. But uh, uh, Lucille Ball was a, a female comedian, Carol Burnett show, things like that. So I would watch that kind of stuff with my mom. But with my father, he would always want to go see um, a guy's film, you know, something with... Um, you know, Steve McQueen in it, or, um, you know, Paul Newman, um, uh, uh, Charles Bronson. Um, and by the time I was about 13, 14, somewhere in that neighborhood, I was going to movies with my buddies on my own, because I now had this, this great love for cinema. And um, I think one of the movies that got me motivated the most was Rocky with Sylvester mm -hmm. Stallone, the, the number one Rocky. Um, and um, that was, you know, when I was a young guy in my basement lifting weights and, you know, throwing punches and kicks and listening to the to the record of the theme song to Rocky. So I, I know exactly what you're talking about. That that kind of that kind of stuff gives you um, inspiration and, and, and uh, uh, drive. And, and and I think that was probably the the one film, if I had to single it out, that really did that for me. Have you ever met uh, Sylvester Stallone? You know, I haven't. I have not. Oh. That's <laughs> what, <laughs> isn't it sad? <laughs> I have yeah. not met him. But um, um, I've seen a lot of his stuff. But not, not just that. I mean, that's kind of what got me going. But then um, many, many other films over the years that um, I, I like all sorts of movies. I'm not just a... Uh, martial arts, you know, film actor. I, I did uh, American television, soap opera, daytime dramas for many years uh, here in the States and um, sitcoms and, and other things like that. Um, but uh, I've only done two martial arts movies, No Retreat, No Surrender mm -hmm. and Sworn to Justice with yep. Cynthia Rangma. So this will be my, my, third, my third film, martial arts movie. We, of course, we will talk about Last Kumite. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, We will come to it. Yeah. Of course. We will do yeah. it. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, but first of all, I yeah, I have also some questions about uh, no retreat, no surrender. And yeah, we, keep them we, coming. We, we ask our um, uh, community, you know, follow us, um, maybe they have some questions. Yeah. And one of the most uh, asked questions um, is, yeah, not about you, but about um, uh, J.W. Fails, um, your yeah. buddy in the movie. Yeah. And a lot of people would like to know what happened with him. So um, I saw uh, on IMDb um, that he <clears throat> had his last role in 1994 uh, mm -hmm. in a series um, and then nothing else. So, yeah. yeah. And I have no, we have no info what, what happened uh, with him. So, uh, you, you know, you know I, I really don't know. When I, when I lived in California, I live in New York now, but when I lived yeah. in LA, I uh, 
you know, he would just show up sometimes at my house. <laughs> uh, he would be, I don't know, he, he was out of town, he was in town, he was here, he was there. And he would show up and hang out with me for a few days or, or whatever. He's a great guy. And somehow along the way, um, you know, we lost touch. Um, I got married and, um, you know, and, and then he, you know, I didn't see him anymore for a number of years. And, and I just, I lost touch. I would love to know, honestly, I would love to know uh, what, what he's doing. I hope he's well. Yeah, of course, we, we also hope <laughs> he's well and healthy and uh, so on. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, funny guy, such a funny guy, right? Yeah, I, I can imagine. And um, for the uh, audience, we talk about RJ, <laughs> the buddy yeah. uh, in the movie. And yeah, um, from the audience perspective, um, you you can see that there's some kind of um, chemistry between you. So um, yeah. yeah. I can imagine that you were really friends in, in real life. We were yeah. like immediately we, we were, we were buddies and yeah. Yeah. And, and that doesn't always happen. Sometimes you, you do a, a project with someone and I mean, it's not that you like them or you don't like them. It's just, you know, you show up, you do your job, but we, we became fast friends. Yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's the normal way of life. I would say that you don't have contact anymore and so on. So yeah. Yeah. It's just a bit like sad, anything. but yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's just like that. But there are so many other talented guys on the set. Um, uh, at no retreat, no surrender. Not only you and Jean Claude Van Damme, also the other guys from the um, karate team, uh, Van Damme. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, um, yeah, beats uh, in the in, in the ring and so on. And yeah. what was there? Maybe some kind of competitive thinking on the set you all were so young and uh, yeah. everyone were so powerful and maybe the the other guys also wanted to start a career as a martial artist and so on and was there some kind of thinking so i'm i'm the best here or, or something like that well, i i think everybody especially all the fighters all the actual martial artists i think they all you know pretty much everybody uh, i don't know how many of them wanted to be actors or, or, or martial arts film actors, but I know that, um, you know, they all thought of themselves as being, you know, good fighters, good, good, good martial yeah. arts. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I think that there probably was a little bit of that, you know, chest out sort of, uh, <laughs> stuff on, but nothing, nothing, um, you know, no, nothing bad, nothing, um, nothing mean or mean spirited or, or anything like that. But I, I think everybody, you know, kind of, uh, they're all young guys. Everybody was like 20, 21, 22, yeah. very, very young. And, and, um, and yeah, so there, there probably was a little bit of that, but nothing, nothing bad. Oh, no. Oh, okay. That <laughs> sounds, sounds good. Yeah. Um, um, my next question, I don't know if you can, talk about or um, you will well yeah would like to talk about but there are so many stories and rumors about uh, John claude van damme and um that he maybe um hits some some other actors um for real um during the uh, the fight scenes and um yeah is that true is there something like that happened um during the day uh, the, the the shooting of, of the movie You mean, like, did anybody actually get hit? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Pete Sugarfoot Cunningham did uh, in the scene where Jean-Claude does the jump spin kick mm -hmm. and he knocks him out. That 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 accidentally really happened. Um, so um, you probably heard this in one of the interviews, too. That, so but he was OK. He was fine. And we, everybody went on. Everybody was everybody was brand new to fighting on camera. First off. Yeah. Um, and all of our coaching all, all of our direction was coming from um you know uh, a director um and a choreographer who spoke pretty much only chinese mm -hmm. so um we there was an always things were being interpreted and um they were used to shooting movies the hong kong way and 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 most of us were not used to shooting movies at all <laughs> you know, we were we were you know i was i had done some stuff but you know, very little. Um, and, um, so I think, um, I, I think we were sort of left, 
you know, out there in our own devices to try to make it all all work and all come together, which when I look back on it now, it it, it worked out great. Everything worked out great. But yeah, he did hit by accident, Pete. Um, and so after that, Jean Club was really, he was really upset. He was really um, disturbed by having done that. Um, and so as a joke, because, you know, even though, <laughs> even though, you know, somebody is hurt you at that age, you just still play jokes. I took a blood capsule and put it in my mouth mm. and the scene where he has to jump on me, I bit down on it. He thought he, he thought he really hurt me. And that was, that was our, that our fun moment. That would be also my next question, um, if this um, were connected uh, to each other. So the joke with the fake blood and um, the the yeah, accidental hit from Joe Claude Van Damme. So you wanted to show him, hey, can you see this could happen if you <laughs> if you hit me uh, like that? Uh, so maybe I spit blood and so on. And yeah. so from a joke perspective, um, yeah, um, I heard the story in another interview. And, uh, I, I think it's totally funny. Yeah. <laughs> great, yeah. great, great idea. Yeah. yeah. Um, when we talk about uh, the choreographies, um, how can I um, yeah, imagine that? So the, the choreographers know that you're into um, Taekwondo, was it? Yeah. And, kick, and kickboxing? Yes. Uh, uh, and... On this base, they created the choreography, or how can can I imagine? No, they that? they basically would show me things that were, uh, you know, along the lines of of of, you know, the movies that they had made in Hong Kong, and also uh, based on uh, some of Bruce Lee's teachings of Jeet Kune Do. So. Mm -hmm. Everything that I did, and it was just what they said. Can you do this? And I. Do it and they go okay good i mean it i i could do most things you know at that age you know even though i hadn't studied jeet kune do or any other martial arts styles other than taekwondo and american kickboxing i, I was able to do, flexible enough to to do it and crazy enough to try it uh, yeah <laughs> and you you have to um yeah. that brings me to to the next question um at the end of the final fight you make these backflip Kick yes. with with uh, John Claude and uh -huh. I heard I don't know if it's true but I heard yeah. that um, you are uh, you were a bit frightened uh, of that move to do it yeah and you do well, it only once completely then... you heard completely wrong on that ah okay I was not frightened of it all I said I have done a backflip before but not one where someone was holding my leg but I will try it and ah that's, okay okay that's that's the one point where they said we don't want you to try it ah okay okay, okay. up to you um i was willing to try it and at that point in time i think i probably could have done it with a little bit of help a little bit you know practicing it um a bit but at that point in time they didn't want to take a chance on and it makes sense with actors you if if somebody gets hurt in a film the production stops so there's a, there's an element of risk there when somebody's you know flipping yeah, through sure. the air and, and they have, you know, on, on, uh, in the ring like that when they haven't done that exact stunt before. So, okay. but no, I would have tried it. <laughs> okay, nice. So that rumor, um, yeah, is out of, out of the way. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's <laughs> every, over now, right? <laughs> every, everything's fine. And um, as you know, there um, exists two different versions of the movie. So uh, there's the US cut, And there's the, I don't know, the European or rest of the world cut or something like that. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> mainly I have seen the European uh, uh, stuff with the, um, yeah, hold on to the vision song and uh, these training sequences in the final fight and so on. And yeah. um, I'm pretty sure that you mainly uh, watched the US version. Um, mm -hmm. have, you, have you seen the European version? Um, I, I Completely? I, I, Yes, I, I I believe I have seen that 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 version um, many years ago. Um, it, it, there's some scenes that were added or deleted, you know. Uh, as I recall, the music was different. Um, I, I can't say for sure if I have uh, a preference over one or the other because I shot every frame of that film you know i was in almost every scene in that movie so i was um 
it, it was when I had when there was stuff that was in the European version that I hadn't seen uh, in the American version. It was like, oh yeah, I remember I remember doing that too. It, it wasn't in the it wasn't in the uh, American version. Um, so I, I can't say I have a favorite, but I, I think it's pretty I think it's pretty neat that they did. And I don't know why. Maybe you know. But I think it's it's interesting that they did two two versions of the film, one for Europe and one for for the United States. Yeah, it's a bit sad that you don't know <laughs> why they have done it because I don't know either. So um, yeah, I um, I wanted to ask you um, <laughs> if you know why they did that. So yeah, I have no, no idea. I have no idea. You, you know um, who might know if if you ever get a chance to interview Keith Strandberg, who was the the writer mm -hmm. and also. Um, did a lot of the inter interpreting because he spoke he spoke Chinese and you know uh, and okay. English. Um, the the weird thing is for me, um, I watched the U.S. Ver uh, version, and in the final fight there are no um, training scenes. So here in the in the European version, we have um, the training sequences in the final fight. So you that's a very a, good point. I remember um, that now. Yeah, and I like and that. I like that about the European version. If I, if there's one part that we take away from it, I like that better in the year uh, that they uh, had. Okay. That. I thought that was a great. I thought that added to the, um, to that final fight scene. Added to the. Um, yeah, there's a connection between the training and the final movement uh, you have in, in, in that fight. So you can see in the sequence when you, I don't know, yeah. you, you train the punching uh, stuff and then you can see in the fight how you punch. <laughs> it it made the final fight scene much more, much more interesting to me. Okay. And I forgot about it until you just mentioned it, but yeah. <laughs> um. As we all know, um, you uh, got offered also the second um part of No Retreat, No Surrender, and yeah. you and also Jean-Claude Van Damme um, said, no, we don't want to do it because yeah. of yeah, many reasons, uh, shooting in um, uh, Cambodian, I think, in the Cambodian Thailand. jungle. Um, yeah, Cambodian jungle, yeah. Yeah, and um, weather problems, time problems, and so on, and yeah, and uh, that stuff. But um, have you seen the original script? And do you know the origin story of the movie? Is it the uh, same as the the final movie we, we have seen then? Of the you're, you're talking about the of No Retreat No Surrender Part Two. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I had seen the script. I don't think that I had received the script yet. Um, there was a lot of back and forth with uh, when the movie would start. It doesn't start. Or it got to postpone. There was a lot of postponements and false starts and things that didn't that didn't happen. And um, in the in in the end, I I opted to to do something you know to do a, go a different way. Uh, yeah. I wanted to do it uh, originally. Um, I said I would, and then it just you know in the end it just didn't quite uh, come come together quickly enough and and well enough. Um, and it and it, it just didn't feel right. So I, I decided not to go. I don't know why Jean Claude didn't go exactly. Well, I have some ideas, but. <laughs> <laughs> You can you can tell us. <laughs> Feel free. Well, I can tell you. Um, I may have I may have said this, you know, in another interview. Probably did. But so um, there was a new person negotiating the the agreement for seasonal films, which which is the film company. I, and I and for whatever reason, I was not negotiating with. Keith Stramberg or NG Yuen or any of the, the people that originally it was kind of a new guy. And um, it just kept getting pushed. And finally, we, we get to the point where I go, well, okay, we're going to Thailand for three months. I just got married. Can I take my wife? I'd like to bring her with me. Oh, no. No, no, no. Uh, there, we're, it's not a It's not a place you want to take a woman. Your wife had, and I, my wife's German, so she's, she's blonde hair and, and blue eyes. I go, no, no, that you don't want to take her there. <laughs> ah, that's that's why you can speak some German. Yeah, selbstverständlich, aber bloß ein bisschen. Is that right? Yeah, totally correct. Just a little. Yeah, yeah, nice. 
Um, um, but but so I couldn't take my wife, and that gave me a little cause for alarm that we were going to be someplace where she wouldn't be safe, you know. Um, and then um, there were some other things about getting shots um, for typhoid or for tetanus or anything like that that you might need for being in a in a jungle <laughs> shooting mm -hmm. and. And, and I didn't know. I just said, you know, would I need this? Or would I, oh, no, 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 you won't need anything like that. Um, and then and then it comes up. I don't know. Is this a, is it is it OK to use bad language on on this? Um... Sure, no problem. You can do. <laughs> OK, so I'll tell you a funny story. So I call Jean-Claude. <laughs> oh, and then Cynthia Rothrock was supposed to be in it, too. Right? Was she actually in that? That version, she was in that, yeah, yeah. She was in it. Okay. Second, yeah. I, I, I thought she was. I, I couldn't mm -hmm. remember. It's, uh, but so. Um, and then they were like, Cynthia Rothrock's doing a movie, it's for the Hong Kong Mafia, and, you know, she can't get out of the agreement just yet. I don't know if any of this stuff is true. This was the guy negotiating the deal at the time, and I'm not sure how, um, I'm not sure why they let him do it, and, and, and I'm not sure if anything he said was true <laughs> or not. But, so, um, um, I call Jean-Claude and I say, Jean-Claude, what's going on with seasonal films? I don't think I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to go do this. And he goes, Kurt, who told you to call me? And I go, what do you mean? He goes, Kurt, who told you to call me? And I said, Jean-Claude, nobody fucking told me to call you. I'm calling you because I'm concerned about seasonal films. I can't take my wife because she's got blonde hair, blue eyes. I can't see and say Ron Frock's doing a movie for the Hong Kong Mafia. Uh, I don't need shots. I do need shots. I don't, I don't know. They're not going through my agent. I tell them to call my agent. They won't call my agent. And I said, I'm just concerned. I don't think you're going. He goes, could I tell you right now? I know going. I go, what do you mean? He goes, listen to me. I know going. They're filming on Cambodian border. They're pirates in the jungle. Do you know what does pirates? They come, they steal our equipment. They, they steal our passports. The police, they come, they don't know who we are. They throw us in jail. They fuck us in our butts. I know going. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh. And we, we, we got together after that and, 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 you know, over coffee or whatever and just laughed about it. But um, ultimately he didn't, he didn't feel like it was being done on the, wasn't being planned out properly and neither did I. So we didn't go, but ultimately it was fine because Cynthia did it. And I think was Billy Blanks in that one. Did Billy do that? Uh, no. Um, um, Matthias Hoos was in it. Uh, Matthias Hoos. Um, no, was he? Yeah. He was, the, he was the bad guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So he, he All these played... people that I'm going to get to work with that I didn't get to work with because I didn't do that. Yeah, we, we, will, we will come to later, of course. <laughs> yeah. But, um, um, but, so, but so, yeah, so ultimately it was obviously fine. But I, I just kept getting pushed off. My agents were getting mad at me. They made me an offer for a television show called General Hospital. And I, I took it, you know, so I went and did something else. And, yeah, but we, we ended up apart. We, we talked years a few years after that about doing another movie together and we we were going to and it just never came together and Keith Strandberg the writer of No Retreat Nusser and I stay in contact and we always talk about doing another another project there's been talk about No Retreat No Surrender a, a series uh, uh, for Netflix um, that you know hasn't materialized as of yet um, but um, yeah, but I, I met with NG after that. I met with Keith Stranberger, and it's all good between us. It was just, I think what happened is they had somebody doing the negotiation and, and it just didn't, things didn't translate and didn't work out well. Oh. Um, Matthias, who's played the part um, Jean-Claude Van Damme should originally play? Yeah. So he's a Russian general in the jungle. And I asked myself why uh, the, 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 the person um, Jean-Claude Van Damme played in no retreat, no surrender is now a general <laughs> in the jungle. So he was a, I don't know, Russian super fighter in the first uh, um, yeah. movie. And then yeah. he went to the jungle and as a general makes no sense to me. So I, I thought they they changed also the script when they um, yeah realized that you and Jean-Claude Van Damme will not play 
the, the yeah the yeah i don't know how that would have see th th that's why you asked that question yeah i don't know how they would have had us over there in thailand is you know uh, you know unless my character joined the 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 American army or something and ended up stationed over there and his character <laughs> went back. Yeah. I don't know. I was planning some sort of, uh, yeah, something in, 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 in that country uh, from Russia. But I, I, um, um, I suspect they probably did make, make some changes, but I never received an original script. <laughs> <laughs> Typical martial arts story. So yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It's hard. Listen, it's hard to get movies made. It's hard to have everything come together, this actor, that actor, the script, the cinematographer, the, you know, the location, the budget, the money raised for a film, all these things that, that have to come together to make a movie. It's a lot. And, um, and, and sometimes it, it causes movies to get delayed uh, for, you know, weeks, months, years, um, or never get made at all, you know. And yeah, and that's exactly, of course, the struggle um, Sean David um, has now with uh, the last committee, with the Kickstarter campaign and so on. And um, yeah, it's other times, <laughs> I yeah. would say. So um, other movies are, um, um, yeah, the, the people want to watch other movies uh, than um, the classic 80s martial arts stuff. They want, I don't know, superheroes and CGI stuff and so on. Um, yeah, it's it's a bit sad. Um, yeah, from my perspective. Right. Yeah. When you um, saw all these other martial arts guys, like I don't know, John Van Damme, Cynthia Rothrock, and so on, and they um, all had um, yeah a quite good career. And was there maybe a moment in your life uh, when you thought, hmm, maybe? I should do it again or maybe i had better done this more uh, this martial arts stuff and, oh, and oh so sure well see i wanted to do more martial arts films i i um i i tried to do uh some some other martial arts films and and it just wasn't made available to me at the time there were all of a sudden there was you know had it had i had that been the year 2000 and you know 16 um i would have been able to go from tv right back into doing martial arts films no problem but because of the time that it was there wasn't enough of uh, um social media and enough people you know commenting about what they want to see and you know who they want to see and what um or I'm, or i'm sure it would have would have happened but i got kind of i got kind of pushed aside so i i stayed with television, which was very good payday and it was guaranteed and, um, and uh, provided me with a great living as an actor for, for many years. But I, you know, 10 years later, I went and did um, the, the movie with Cynthia, um, Sworn to Justice, and I would have certainly liked more, but it was kind of like, well, okay, that was, that was 95 or 96 that we did that. So um, uh, still, still before the time that, you know, things could really, and martial arts films had taken um, a hit a little bit. Uh, there was a couple of, um, you know, main martial arts actors like Jean-Claude and, and Steven Seagal and people like that. And everybody else was kind of doing, you know, smaller, lower budget stuff. And, you know, so there wasn't a lot of, uh, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for me, but there, there was, I know there was for other people. Um, now you already mentioned uh, the movie with uh, Cynthia and how that happened. W was she came to you and said, "Hey, Kurt, do you want to play with me in the new martial arts movie?" Or <laughs> no, no, she didn't at all. Um, pa Paul Maslach and Neva Friedman, uh, who produced and Paul Maslach directed the film, um, knew me from No Retreat, No Surrender, and um, they called me and said they were doing a movie with Cynthia Rothrock and that they wanted me to to play opposite her in this. And they sent me the script and um, made me the offer. And I said, yeah, I would, I would, I would love to do this. So I was actually on uh, a daytime drama in, uh, in New York called Guiding Light. And I, um, I was, took a leave, you know, took a, a few weeks off or so to go do that movie with Cynthia. 
that's how that worked out. So Cynthia and I had met for the first time. I was like, ah, yeah, we were supposed to work together. You know, yeah, you didn't, you didn't show up. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we finally got to do something together. We had a, we had a great time and, and uh, it was, a, it was a real pleasure working with her. She's, she's great to work with. So I get to work with her again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also last committee. Yeah. We will, yeah. we will, we will uh, uh, talk about, but how, um, I'm not an actor, and um, when I see these kind of uh, uh, love scenes and kissing stuff and so on, um, how is it you had that with uh, Cynthia in that movie? So you you yeah you are a couple in, in that movie, so to say. Um, yeah. Is that is it hard for an actor? Maybe when you have a wife at home uh, and she maybe has a has a guy at home, and then yeah. you go on set and then do do that stuff. Well, I think if you're if you're an actor, you pretty much uh, that's always asked of you, especially in the, the television shows I was doing. It was a lot of that. So um, I, I think that, you know, my wife certainly knew the career that I had and I'm sure Cynthia's significant other knew as well. So, you know, we just you just you just dive into the script because you 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 hopefully allow yourself to just get immersed in the characters that you're playing. And when the camera's rolling, you, you know, that's what you're all in. And when the yeah. camera's not, you're like, okay, see you later. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, it's just a job. So to say. it's a job. Yeah. yeah. It's a job. And, and you get good, like anything else. Like if you, if you go for runs every day or every other day, you get, you know, you build up the three miles or five miles or eight miles or 10 miles. Uh, if you, if you train in the gym, you lift heavier weight, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more. And the same thing with, uh, you know, acting, you, you just get better at learning your lines because you, you do it so much, you get better at just saying, okay, this is what we have to do. And you go do it. And then, okay, how was that? Was it okay? <laughs> was that all right? Okay, good. Go on. Let's maybe uh, talk about um, modern stuff. I know that you um, like movies in general. So you have already mentioned that you, um, for example, like Rocky and uh, that uh, kind of stuff. What do you think about modern action movies? So from from my perspective and um, yeah, with my taste of, 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 of yeah, action movies and how they should look like and so on with not so many cuts in there and um, you, you, you can follow um, the, the choreographies um, yeah, as good as it gets and so on. Um, yeah, the new martial arts movies or action movies, it's, yeah, it's, it's a clusterfuck. So um, a lots of cuts. Then um, yeah. you, you have, I don't know, you have um, 10 uh, people with a camera uh, on hand running through the set filming something shaky and and so on yeah. what, what do you think about these kind of movies uh, nowadays well i think that what they do is in in movies which sometimes looks looks can look really really good and and sometimes not is they use a lot of shaky camera they use a lot of um quick cuts back and forth and that allows people that aren't real martial artists to, you know, do a, a martial arts fight scene, if you will, you know, without having that much knowledge of, of, of martial arts, if any. Um, the camera and the special effects do all of the work, not the actors. What people love about films like No Retreat, No Surrender, uh, Bloodsport, um, you know, they, 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 they like the fact that the actors are really are really doing that that action and the camera's far enough away that you can you can see that that's that's really them you know doing that um and i and i, and I think that's what i like and i, I think it's what a, a lot of people like um that that enjoy true true martial arts films you know and i, I think you don't get that with a lot of present day action film. The action's good. It can be quite exciting to watch, but if you if you're looking for true, you know, martial arts skills, you're looking for, like we said earlier, almost like a ballet of of, of martial arts, 
Uh, yet there's a fine line because you want it to you want it to look real. And the reality is most fight scenes don't don't aren't that extravagant and don't last that long. But if you can if you can make if you can make real a, a real fight scene um, choreographed in that way look look real, you know, then you, you've captured exactly what you want. Like the, the fight scenes that Cynthia and I had in, um, in, in um, Sworn to Justice, I thought, you know, some of the stuff that we did in that was, was, was really a lot of fun and, and was, a, 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 um, was a good way of showcasing the, the martial arts and, 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 and showing some what I thought were pretty realistic um, fight scenes. No Retreat, No Surrender as well, you know, it was, you, you don't see that in regular cinema, you know, it, it's, that is unique to, to true um, martial arts films. Yeah. Um, what we um, make so sad um, is that there are still so talented guys out there. So maybe, you know, Iku Uweis um, or yeah, Scott Atkins for sure. Um, mm -hmm. Sure. And They have so many skill and so many talent. And um, Iku Uwai uh, made uh, two movies, uh, The Raid One and The Raid Two. And mm -hmm. I have never seen that before. It's so spectacular and so well choreographed and so on. It's one of my uh, favorite martial arts movies. And then he, um, it was filmed in in, uh, um, in Thailand, I think, um, in Asia. And um, then. You went to um, yeah to the states and made uh, I think Mile 22 was the movie, and he also made some fighting scenes and the editing was so bad. So there's this talented guy who is um, yeah able to do stuff you can't imagine. Um, yeah. And, yeah. And the editing is so bad uh, and there's so much effort in there to create the choreography and uh, yeah to have this um, physical power and so on so much training and then yeah there's a cutter in the editing room <laughs> and, and uh, yeah it's crap uh, yeah you don't you don't need to cut and edit somebody who's that skilled in martial arts that they're going to do all the work for you you just got it yeah. you got to follow them with the camera you know um you don't need to do that it's like it's like in horror films where everything um or, or you know sometimes um sometimes the action films too, but where they make a scene so dark that you can't really quite see what's going on. You have to, what's, what's really happening there. It's like, I, I want to see what's happening. Don't make it so dark, you know, lit dark that I, that I can't tell what's going on. And same thing with, with a fight scene. If you have to do that to, to sell the, the fight scene, because the, the actors are hired for their acting ability, not for their fighting skills. That's one thing, but If you have a an actor who can also, you know, fight like that and has that those kind of skills, you want to showcase that. Yeah, you want to sure. see it as a as a martial yeah. arts fan. You want to see that for sure. Besides um, action and martial arts stuff, um, what was the yeah the last movie um, where you can say <clears throat> that was great? That was real um, magic in cinema. That was a martial arts film or just any film? Uh, any film. Gosh, I don't, I don't know. You know, there's so much content. Now, I just saw a great... I find myself watching a lot of um, uh, television now, you know, with Amazon and Netflix mm -hmm. and these things. There's a lot of series from all over you know, all over the world, you know, um, Game of Thrones, you know, that kind of stuff, which I thought was great. But I just watched, my wife and I just watched um, The English, which is a, a series with Emily Blunt. And mm -hmm. it takes place in the Old West in 18, late 1800s. And she's an English woman coming, coming there um, to kill someone, basically. And she, uh, she and this Indian befriend each other. It's a six part miniseries. It's great. I mean, the, the the it's shot mainly in Spain and a little bit in in, in England um, because of COVID. They didn't they didn't actually shoot it in the you know Wyoming or you know Montana mm -hmm. or any place like that. But it's just it's just great. It's great storytelling and it's done along the the vein of a of a spaghetti western. You know the old Clint Eastwood stuff. 
that mm-hmm. we all love, right? So um, that that's the last thing that I that I just saw that, that that comes to mind. But there's so much good cinema out there, whether it's whether it's uh, you know limited series stuff that you see on cable, or whether it's uh, you know a film a movie. Um, it, it's amazing how how much good stuff is out there. Yeah, um, of course, there's a lot of good stuff, but you have to, um, yeah, like filter it out. You have to weed through the bad stuff to get <laughs> yeah, to it. Yeah, so yeah. there's a lot of crap out there also, yeah. <laughs> especially on the, on the on the uh, streaming uh, sites. Um, yeah, you have, to, you have to look if you can find some, some good out there. Yeah, you can spend a whole, you can spend a whole evening just like, you know, surfing through trying to find something, uh, you know, good to watch. Yeah, that's exactly the problem I have with my girlfriend. Every evening, um, we have all these streaming um, um, uh, stuff. We have, I don't know, we have Apple, we have Netflix, we have Amazon, we have uh, uh, yeah, Sky, uh, I don't know, everything. But yeah. we have nothing to, to watch. So we're clicking there and um, go through the, yeah, the, the, all, the, all these movies. And uh, at the end, we are looking YouTube. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, really it's true. It, it, it's true. I just recently saw the whale, which won a uh, uh, Brendan Fraser won an Academy Award for. That was a uh, you know a little bit of a depressing movie, but a very very well mm-hmm. done movie. I, I haven't seen it yet, but I, I really want to. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I I think uh, it's it's a great movie. Yeah. 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 Um, awesome. after or yeah, in between also, um, you made a lot of uh, other stuff. Um, you already mentioned like uh, soap opera stuff and um, maybe here an episode of a series and there some episode and so on. Is there some of them where you can say, hey, I, I know you, um, you like my martial arts stuff and so on, but maybe you can give, I don't know, that movie a chance or that that episode of a, of a series. Um, it's it's nice storytelling and so on and um, yeah. Give it a try. Is there something you can uh, yeah also give uh, give this martial arts uh, fans <laughs> um, <laughs> as a as a um, as a tip so to say? Um, yeah, of, of stuff that I've seen or the stuff that I've been in. And um, you've been in. Oh, that I've been in. Um, well, since I left uh, Guiding Light in 2009, the show was canceled. So that was where the bulk of my work was, was on, on that, just everyday work almost, uh, you know, two or three days a week, you were filming one hour episodes of the show, which you can't see anymore. Since mm-hmm. then, a lot of the stuff that I've done is guest spot stuff on an episode of Power, an episode of Blue Bloods. Um, I recently did three movies um, uh, over the course of about four years for Tosca Musk, um, for um, Passion Flicks. It's a romance novel um, channel, and I play the father of the lead character, so I'm not in it a lot, so I can't tell people, oh, you should watch this if you want to see me. It's like, well, you have to, you have to fast forward a lot to my scene or that scene, but that, that's, that's the most recent thing I did. I just finished the third uh, film uh, last month, so. Ah, okay, yeah, um, yeah. because... I, I thought maybe um, uh, uh, you said um, the um, what was the name blue blue bloods um, blue bloods yeah yeah it's it's a crime uh, series it's isn't a, it yeah it's a it's a cop show crime mm. cop show and is it um, something like um, yeah case of the week um, series or is it a um, yeah. yeah yeah every every week it's an, it's been on for I, I don't know ten years now it's, it's ah, been okay a long time so, right. yeah and so I, maybe maybe um, yeah we we can watch. Um, this one episode with you. <laughs> right. So, right. It, yeah, you could do that. Sure. Yeah. I so I, I wasn't in it on a regular basis. I was in exactly one episode. So yeah, I know, I know. But but yeah, yeah we can give it a try, of course. Sure. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's come to the the new planned movie, Last Kumite. Um what was your reaction or what was your first thought when Sean came up to you and said, I plan a movie um, in the 80s, 90s martial arts style and uh, I want you to be in there. What was your, what was your first uh, thought? Are you crazy or why me? Or... <laughs> well, my first thought is that you, you get that a lot. You know, I'm doing a movie. Would you be interested? I'm doing a movie. Would you be... And I, 
I always say I'm interested because I, I love to work. So I, 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 I'm always interested. I mean, it always, you know, depends on the, the project. In the end, it's going to depend on if everything comes together properly. But I, I did say uh, definitely that I was interested. I met, you know, Sean um, like this, you know, um, Zooming. And um, I really liked him. And I said, man, if, if, if you can... If you can do it, yeah, I would, I would very much be interested in, in being a part of it. And then he sent me the script and I read the script. And, um, and, you know, there was lots of back and forth over months or year now or so. And um, it now, you know, it's coming together and we're going to we're going to do it. But when he's ensembled a bunch of great, you know, great martial artists and, and great actors to be in the in, in the movie. And um, I'm. I'm Super excited to to do it. I'm, I'm coming to Germany in um, in um, August, but now I'm also coming to Germany uh, in June to shoot the movie. So <laughs> I'll be in Germany twice this year. <laughs> uh, yeah, nice. Um, in in June, um, you're in Hamburg, uh, I think. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, Sean told me that um, um, the the fight scenes were will be will be shooted there. Is is it, is it right in, in Hamburg? You know, I, I don't know. There's been a lot of, you know, um, you know, figuring out where, what goes where and when it goes. So I'm not exactly sure if, if we're doing the fight seats in Hamburg, but I know I, I, my, I know that my first stop is Hamburg. And uh, then in August, um, where you are there? Um, oh, and then I'll be in August. My, my wife and I'll be there visiting her, some family. Also in Hamburg or? No, no. Coburg, uh, Braunschweig. We'll be in Berlin. We'll be in Munich. We'll be kind of, we'll go around with some, see some family. If you want to, I don't know, uh, drink a coffee or something like that in Berlin. So yeah. I'm here just. You're uh, in Berlin? That's great. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's good just tell know. me, just tell me and we, uh, we can <laughs> drink a coffee together. Or, yeah. Well, or you just have to bring or... your mom. I have to meet your mom too. Oh, she would be so happy. Really? Really? Um, yeah. yeah. She, uh, sure. I, I, well, <laughs> that, that would be a surprise. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. Just tell me um, when you're well, in Berlin. Let's try to make it happen, sure. That, that would be very, very cool. Um, yeah, um, you also um, 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 yeah, talked about um, the other actors um, who will be in the, in the movie, like um, Billy Blanks, Matthias, who's uh, the Chrissy brothers, and also um, uh, Cynthia Rothrock. Yeah. Maybe Richard Norton, um, yeah. I heard. So yeah. it's not 100% clear. Um, and yeah. Do you all know uh, know these guys already, or is it the first time then? I, I know of all of these people, but the only I'm thinking right now, I think the only person I've ever met and 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 worked with is Cynthia. Are you still in contact, or is it uh, a reunion, so to say, with uh, Cynthia? It'd be kind of a reunion. I haven't talked to Cynthia, but we uh, early on when when this was beginning to look like it was coming together. Uh, we we uh, emailed back and forth a bit, but but yeah, I haven't seen Cynthia in, in I haven't seen Cynthia since we walked off the set doing uh, Sworn to Justice. I haven't seen her since then, uh, not in person. Uh, yeah, um, I have seen. Uh, currently, she uh, has her own Kickstarter project or or had. Um, Black Who does Black Creek? Uh, Cynthia Cynthia Rothrock. Oh, she, um, uh -huh. she has her. Uh, uh, um, her own Kickstarter project, um, some kind of a martial arts Western movie. Oh, really? Or something oh, that like sounds that. cool. Yeah. 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 Um, I think the Kickstarter campaign is finished and um, yeah, it was enough money so she can do it. Um, oh, great. Yeah, really cool. Really yeah. cool. Yeah, that's great. Good for her. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'll be, I'll be calling her as soon as we get off here. Uh, do it. <laughs> <laughs> why I'm not in the movie. <laughs> yeah, why am I not in your movie? <laughs> Can you maybe tell us um, a little bit, not not so much, but a bit um, about your uh, role in, in the movie? Because I have no info. Um, I didn't. I do not even know who's the main character in that movie. So who will play the, the main character? I just know who's in it, uh, the, the actors, but I have no idea. Well, well, let me, I don't want to give too much away, um, but um, there's a, a group of... of Of, of us that are ensembled or brought together to fight in a kumite and yeah. um and um gosh i don't know if i how much i should tell you but um we're sort of forced into 
to this. So, um, you know? what, what, what we already know, because um, I had a talk with uh, Sean, and he told oh, okay. me that, okay, that um, um, there's a, a child of one of you, I guess, and it's uh, the, the kid uh, will be kidnapped, and mm -hmm. then you're forced to fight in that committee. So that's the rough right. story um, yeah. I heard, or we yeah. heard uh, in that interview. Um, yeah. I just want to know if you maybe can give us some, yeah, some, some uh, details about your figure you will play, uh, your role in, in the movie. Well, well, my character's wife has been kidnapped and I'm forced to, ah. to, to fight in the Kumite. Ah, okay. So, so nobody wants to be there and, it, and, it's, and it's, it's looking, you know, no, well, I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe a couple of the, maybe one or two of the characters don't, One character wants to be there, I think. But um, yeah, most of us don't want to be there. We're there because we're we're trying to save a, a loved one, family member. Sounds for me. Sounds for me like um, there's a couple of um, good people. So there's not one, um, yeah, one main character. So there are many, many yeah. good. Yeah, there's a handful of good, so, of good so to guys. Say. Yeah. So that's true. So I have uh, I have uh, <laughs> I have some pictures in my uh, in my head now um, because for sure there will be the moment when um, two of them will fight against each other and can't save the person uh, they love or something like that. It could right. be also yeah very sad um, at the end um, of the movie because um, one of you will lost the fight and. Um, Maybe maybe you lost the fight and you, you can't um, um, uh, save your your wife or something like that. So that's, that's right. Good. Yeah, you, you you could you could lose and not and not save save your your family member. Okay, it sounds yeah. For me, it's really a good idea. So Sean <laughs> Sean told me that um, because I of course uh, asked uh, for the script and the plot and so on and uh, he just said <laughs> and the script was not so bad that everyone said no i'm not in the movie <laughs> so it was it was good enough that you said okay yeah i'm in so yeah yeah, yeah absolutely yeah great um I've, i'm 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 through my questions i have none um <laughs> there's got to be something else surely Uh, let me let me think let something me think. that you didn't ask that you always wanted to ask um for sure there are um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's there there's for sure so many um, well maybe we can maybe there, we can have another conversation uh once i get to 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 germany and we start shooting sure and i can yeah i can bring my camera and we can do it um, personally so not with yeah. are you gonna are you gonna come and, and watch some of the the filming I don't Possibly. know if, can, if if I can say it. Um, um, Sean asked me if it's maybe for me, or he invited me to come to the to the um, um, yeah to the shooting of the movie in in Hamburg. Um, oh, good. Okay. I have to look if I can do it um, with my work and so on if I have the time. But I mm -hmm. of course I really want <laughs> I really want to come. Um, yeah. It's yeah yeah it, it would be. Very nice to see you in person. Also, all the other guys and uh, yeah. How for, how far is Hamburg from Munich? It's not um, too far, is it? Uh, three or four hours. So yeah, it's I was, not, I was it's not, thinking it's about four uh, hours. Okay, good. Uh, I think it, it should be possible. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, and then we can meet personally. Even if you just come down for the day, you know, you, you can do you can do that. I used to drive when I lived in California. I used to drive to Mexico. <laughs> for the day and come back three or four yeah. hours come back at the end of the night late i will so, do it so, uh, um, i don't i don't i don't know uh how but i will i will do it if there's a chance um uh, that I, i can visit the 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 shooting i will come for sure okay yeah all right that'd be great that'd be great and then we can we can do another interview exactly and we'll we, have more to talk about because you'll we'll know more you'll know more what's going on <laughs> Um, yeah, I will of course um, again ask also our community. Maybe they have also some other questions and so on. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Really, you're welcome. Thank, hey, it was my, my pleasure. It was great talking to you. Yeah, um, uh, I can I can just uh, give it back. It was a pleasure for me. Um, yeah, you are 
a hero of my childhood and so on. It's a, uh, I can't believe that I'm sitting here and talking with you. It's a uh, really, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, a, bit, it's a bit weird for me, yeah. but yeah, yeah, it's great. It's really, it's, it's great. Thank you very much. I, I haven't, I haven't changed too much over the years, have I? Uh, no, um, <laughs> it's, um, your hair is not that, that black, um, as, uh, back in the days, but, and, uh, yeah. Sean told me that you, uh, still, um, keep in shape. And you're oh, yeah. still, still training train. and so on. Um, yeah. Is it still um, kickboxing and taekwondo, or do you, you learn some other stuff? Um, you know, whatever I've picked up over the years, I I I, I do. Um, I do it on my own in in uh, at the gym uh, or in my 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 home. Um, but um, yeah, I, I I just never stopped training. I started when I was 12 years old, and I can't stop. So hopefully, I, hopefully I never have to, you know? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kurt. All right. Then thank you very much again. <laughs> You're welcome. And I will, I will talk to you soon. I'm, I'm sure I'll see you. That would be so nice, really. It would be so nice. And um, yeah, if it's, if it's possible, we can um, uh, meet in uh, Berlin w yeah. together with my mother. Oh my God, she, she will be crazy. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm okay. sure we'll, we'll be in touch, especially uh, especially in June when I get to Hamburg. Yeah, sure. Okay, we will. We will. All okay, right. sounds then good. I wish you um, a nice day. Um, I will go to bed now. <laughs> yeah, it's late for you, right? You're five yeah, hours it's, it's five midnight. hours ahead of me, and it's almost yeah. seven here, so it's almost midnight. Get to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Robert. All right, good talking to you, brother. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yep. See ya. Bye bye. bye, -bye.